Have you heard about cleansing the uterus? Uterine cleaning is not a common practice among women, and it is necessary to be careful while doing this. Despite the similarities that exist between us, with the same organ structure, etc., it is important to remember that our bodies are different, and therefore, everyone interacts differently with treatment. It does not differ when we talk about cleansing the uterus. Talk to your gynecologist or physiotherapist and analyze with him the need to include any of these teas in your daily routine if you have any doubts about how to clean the uterus naturally. Benefits of this practice, we can mention the protection of the female reproductive system, because it removes the remnants of the endometrium that remain in the womb after periods, after childbirth or after an abortion. When a woman cleans the endometrium, she can prevent the development of certain diseases and increase the chances of getting pregnant without risk. It is also a way to improve blood flow in the womb, and keep it stronger and healthier. Here are three recipes for uterine cleansing tea, St. John's wort tea which has many medicinal properties, including the ability to relax and smooth the muscular system around the contractions of the uterus period. You will need to 1 cup of water 1 teaspoon St. John's wort, try not to use flowers to make this tea because it may be poisonous, or remove flowers, if any, or use herbs before they bloom. Heat the water to a boil, then turn off the heat and add leaves, then cover it with a lid and wait for it to cool down a little, after that, filter and drink according to your doctor's recommendations, up to 3 cups a day. The second way Damiana has been used for centuries to increase sexual desire. To make this tea, you'll need 0.7 to 0.14 ounces of dried Damiana leaves and 1 cup of boiling water, then just combine the ingredients and let them rest for 5 to 10 minutes, after it cools down a bit, filter and drink up to 3 times a day. The third way raspberry tea is well known among women, and it is a powerful homemade drug to reduce the effect, however, it can also be used after pregnancy to remove parts of the lining and other tissues that have not been completely discarded, causing the uterus to return to normal. We take 1 to 2 teaspoons of raspberry leaves and a cup of boiling water, then gather all the ingredients and let them rest for up to 10 minutes, then filter and wait until they cool a little, and drink 1 to 3 cups a day. Pregnant women should avoid consuming them, unless recommended by an obstetrician or therapist. This tea cleans the uterus and promotes uterine contractions to eliminate the endometrium, pregnant women should not drink, and breastfeeding women should avoid eating them, okay.